To me, the most impressive thing about the F-16 is its maneuverability. It'll outperform any fighter I've ever flown or flown against, and at the same time, it has a great ability to maintain its energy. And also, for air-to-ground weapons delivery is an excellent system. And I really feel in the F-16 that the pilot gets a very big chance of having a successful attack, both air to air and air to ground, because of the avionics layout and the ease of handling the aircraft. And also to have a radar which has a tremendous look down capability is one of the very good features we have experienced in the air combat training. We passed the 18-month mark in our history with the F-16. We're on track, and I believe at this time our training mission has matured, and we're doing a good job of that. Probably the most exciting part of our mission, though, is becoming operational in the F-16. We're looking forward to that because already we have seen that we have an airplane now that is capable of increased combat capability and readiness. We have had exercises so far that have already told us that we can fly sortie rates on the order of a 5-0, and we can combat quick turn this airplane with full-scale ordnance in revetments and so forth in 16 minutes. In one day, we had a chance to fly 61 sorties with 12 aircraft. I personally had a chance to fly three of those surface attack missions onto our surface attack ranges. What impressed me most about the F-16 that day was its ability to fly a sortie, recover, turn around and go back out and fly two more effective ones in minimum amount of time and all effective sorties. The F-16 to me is a godsend because of the ease of maintenance we have associated at this time. We've got a lot, a lot of young people in the Air Force these days, and it's making my job a lot easier to be upgrading these young people to where there's sufficient aircraft maintenance in a very short period of time. I've been working on the uh, F-16 about six months now, and it's really a very easy plane to work on. For instance, like uh, taking a soap sample, all you have to do is just open this door right here. There's a quick disconnect here. And it's just a matter of seconds, you got your oil sample. And uh, all in all, it's a really easy plane to work on. Riga has many shelters like uh, this. It is now empty because the F-16s are in the air. We have had very little difficulties um, with the F-16 so far. We've been able to keep them in the air. And uh, we are quite happy the situation is that way. Serviceability has uh, been very good so far. We have had a few problems, but uh, nothing more than you should expect with a plane uh, this complexity. Servicing and uh, maintainability has been well taken into account in the uh, design of the plane itself. <laughs> The weather 
is normally a very important factor in operations in uh, Norway. And with the range available, which the F-16 has, we're able to use diversion, diversion fields at a greater distance from home base. Also, we can operate in areas far away from home base normally, and uh, also have the fuel available to divert to other bases. The cockpit environment in the F-16 is just a serve. The pilot has the necessary switches just at his fingertips and is able to change the fire control system very easily from an air-to-ground to an air-to-air -air situation. And I would say that the layout is really a pilot's dream. We have been studying uh, the new combat aircraft for about four years prior to make our decision. And it looks like we're not looking anywhere else. In the past year and a half that we have uh, had the F-16 here at Bogusa, we have been capable to do many things with the air thing. We have been doing also some air to ground briefing. The results were excellent. we have done at Solanzara, well, it was so damn easy for the pilot with not that much experience to kill those aerial targets that we finally had to look for a way to render the uh, target's flight path as difficult as possible. So, in order to avoid that the target could be killed after the first pass. The F-16 is an outstanding dogfighter. I feel like it is built to maneuver. It climbs and accelerates very good. And I'm convinced that in the next coming years, the F-16 will be a valuable contributor to the air defense in Central Europe. Base Rückfahrt is a typical uh, fighter bomber base. That means we are normally producing three sorties a day per aircraft. So far, we are not going into the operational part of the training yet, but during the training of new pilots, we have noticed we can get up to four sorties per day per aircraft. As the squadron commander, obviously, I like to see the aircraft in the air, and that's been wonderful to see how our ground crew has been able to quickly isolate faults and by help of the job guides even perform rather complex tasks in a matter of minutes and see an aircraft coming down to the fault and have it back in the air on the same day. Incredible, just incredible. A few years ago, I would never have imagined sitting in an airplane like this, pulling nine Gs, and still be very comfortable. you have of an aircraft like the F-16 is its uh, amazing maneuverability. And uh, the way the pilot uh, thinks that the angle is 
easy to handle and easy to fly in the air. But the overall impression is that uh, this aircraft adds quite a bit to our Air Force, that it is very flexible in its operation, so that uh, both air to air and air to surface work can be done with it. And overall, the idea is that we have uh, got an amazing good aircraft in our Air Force. The F-16 is, uh, in the, is the best in the world. Any aircraft turning uh, at its best here, you can out turn easily like that. Take a lead on him and shoot him right there out of the air. That's no problem at all. Uh, with your 9Gs, I think that's the highest G limit there is on, uh, on any aircraft in, uh, in this world. I recently had the opportunity to fly an F-16 with uh, the latest radar and what I saw in that aircraft that really watered my eyes. We had lock-ons on very big ranges and uh, well it was really impressive. In uh, the Netherlands our primary role is uh, air to ground and uh, with the excellent radar of the F-16 it's possible to do very accurate bombing, even in, uh, in rather bad weather, which we have a lot down here. And one of the first or two rides in the air combat training in the States, I, I was in the F-16, the prop seat, and I said, what do you want to do now? I want to do this maneuver, and I did it, and it was perfect. And uh, it really was a joy to do it. You have a kind of idea in your mind, in the air, what you want to do to follow the target. And the previous aircraft, they never could do it. You always have to go to, to different corners, first to get some speed, or uh, sneak behind the cloud and, and then get them. And the F-16 said, well, here I am, I want to go there, and then it was... <laughs> It's like a uh, Spitfire and, uh, and uh, it's equipped like a DC-10. The radar works like a charm, the weapons delivery system was right on. Bird handled so well in the pattern, it's just a pleasure to fly. I really enjoy it. The F-16 is uh, very easy for me to handle as crew chief because everything I have to handle, I can reach from the ground. The bird's a flyer, it's a maintainable flyer. An air to surface that'll match any computer bombing system, and an air to air that's unmatched. It's a, quite a machine, a hell of a machine to fly, and uh, I'm sure that there are going to be uh, some happy people in the future when they get into this airplane. Mm -hmm. 